So guys, unlike the FA when they give out punishments, Wolves have consisted in being linked with star signings and George Mendes clients. So, why should it change? Here is my next Wolves transfer news and rumours video. So let's get started. First up on this list guys is a star signing would be if Wolves are signing. It's Stanislav Lobotka. Of this season guys, Stanislav Lobotka has impressed at Salta Vigo in the Spanish league. He's a midfielder, he's 24 years old and like I said he only joined at the beginning of the season but so far he has really impressed and apparently if Salta Vigo were to sell him they're looking for a 26 million price tag. 15 matches for Salta Vigo so far this season he's got one assist and one yellow card. No sending off. So if he did join Wolves I'm pretty sure that would soon change. Guys, personally, I haven't really seen him play, but from what I can understand, he seems to be more like a ball-winning midfielder, sort of like the remain safe type, something like that. If he is, could be a decent signing for us, but 26 million, you got to be careful when it comes to splashing that money around. However, for Wolves, it doesn't make too much difference when your owners are worth like 46 billion. But still, financial fair play rules and that, we have to be careful splashing that amount of money around on a player that maybe we don't necessarily need or we could use to strengthen other areas. But could be a good signing, but we'll have to wait and see. Here's our guys is that apparently PSG, Leicester and Watford all want a 26 million rated player. So we are going to have to compete with some of the big boys. Uh, when I say some of the big boys, I mean PSG. Because let's be honest, if he's going to go to anyone, it'll be PSG. Next target for Wolves has a lot of common factors that will surprise you. More than Kevin Prince Bolting's move to Barcelona. In 10 years, he's gone from Portsmouth to Barcelona. His agent should be knighted by the Queen. For, I mean, that's just incredible. But, literally, guys, the next player for Wolves that we've been rumoured and linked with is Gelson Martins. He's 23 years old. He's Portuguese. There's one surprise for you. And his agent is none other than George Mendes. There's two surprises. Wolves linked with a player who's Portuguese... And his agent is George Mendes. Never happened before. I told you it was just supposed to be as much of a surprise as Kevin Sprint's bold tank. Appearances, the Portuguese winger has had one goal and no assists. However, he might not have started all of them games, so you can't judge him off that. But I think he would fit into our system. He's Portuguese, he's young, and he's very pacey as well. So could fit into our system, I think. But we're going to have to compete with Newcastle for the signature. Apparently, apparently Newcastle want him, and it will cost whoever wants to sign him 4.4 million to sign him on loan. It's a big ask and that's a lot of money. But the question is, well, it's against Newcastle United and Newcastle aren't exactly going to spend 4 million because Mike Ash is still in charge. So I feel kind of comfortable on that one. But is it going to be worth the money? There's better wingers out there you could spend a bit more money on and could possibly do a better job. It's going to be interesting, but if we did sign him, I think it would be a good signing for Wolves. Next up, guys, is a player that could be leaving Wolves. It's Dominic Iorfa. Apparently, Dominic Iorfa's contract's up in the summer, and he could be set to agree a pre-contract with Celtic and leave the club for nothing. He came in 2015 when Wolves was on a sticky spell, and I remember his debut, like anything, at Bournemouth, and he looked like a great player who could play at right back or centre back. Was about six foot three, six foot four, and was pacey, young, and English, and he looked fantastic. However, since new and that have come in, we've seen less of Iorfa because, to be honest, they're just better players in the position. So I think for him, it's better to go out and have a career than stay at a club and not have a career. So yeah, I, I, if he leaves, I'd wish him luck. I do think he's a good, he's got good potential to be a fantastic player. He just needs a game time. Finish this video on one thing. I said at the beginning, making a joke that the FA weren't consistent. Well, actually, surprisingly, they have been consistent. The fine new note, eight grand for running onto the pitch, was exactly the same amount that they fined Jurgen Klopp for the same incident. So, for once, maybe the FA are going to start learning lessons and actually punish people the same and not treat bigger clubs differently from smaller clubs. Money-wise, we're not exactly far off Liverpool, Man City and all that, don't get me wrong. But I mean as in general, as in from Liverpool to the likes of Burton, Albion, Wickham Wanderers, all them lot. Hopefully now that's a step in the right direction from the FA. That's it from me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, then hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comment section your thoughts on everything I've mentioned in this video. And, you know, I look forward to speaking to you guys later. And also, thank you for an over 1,000 subscribers now, guys. I've said it in the last video, but I'll say it again. Thank you for your support. It means a lot. And it just shows anything can happen. Kevin Prince Boateng's move to Barcelona. The FA punishing two managers the same for the same incident. And me reaching over a thousand subscribers. Anything can happen. So, there you go. That's a bit of motivation for you. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>